Keith, welcome to Race Star today. Hi. We are, we are so glad to have you here, as you know. And uh, uh, a lot of the audience, I think, out there that's going to be watching this doesn't know what's going on for you this year. So can you kind of tell, tell us today how Race Star helped you this year and what you're able to accomplish? Well, you, first you got my name wrong. That you know my name. Have you not figured that out? I don't. It's on my car. <laughs> I don't put my name on a car. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> and there's a reason for that because I run race star wheels. <laughs> so, uh, so, so does that mean we're supposed to call you Mr. Race Star? Uh, you can call me Mr. Yes. Race Star. I might as well be. Okay. I mean, that's what we're winning on, right? That's exactly right. That's um, exactly right. I, you know what? Uh, this year has been really, really, really great. A lot, of, a lot of key factors. We made a big change this year. Um, you know, we and. And I don't mind saying it, we were we were running a different rear wheel yes. at one point um, for the for the year before. Yes. And we it, were running obviously race star wheels on the front. Yes. And uh, we had a different wheel on the back. We're not gonna give them the gratitude that they they, they don't deserve. But yes. Yes. <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to be that yes. way. But you know, we decided to make a big change this year and you know we've always been on a 16 inch tire. Yes. And um, New, of course, you and I have been good friends and, yes. and, and, and over the years, Wonderful. and and I knew that we had to do something. So, talked to my tuner, Brandon Schweitzer, with Schweitzer Dynamics, and uh, said, "Hey, what do you think about this?" He says, "Shoot, I think I think we ought to probably look at making a change in the rear wheel." And he had run this specific brand for years and years and years. Yes, and uh, that four-letter brand. Yeah, the four-letter yeah, brand. The four-letter brand. So. Uh, so I decided to call you up and said, hey, yes, you know, you, you do a lot for Midwest Drag Racing Series and you have since day one and I appreciate that. And for Keith Haney Racing, you know, I never asked you for anything. I want to pay for what I get. Yes, you do. And I tried to you pay do. for what I got, but you sent me with that anyway and I appreciate you sponsoring. Yes. But end up getting an 18 inch wheel. Really wanted the 20, because I know the 20s. Yes. It's going to be better than the 18. That's right, yes. But with my particular uh, car, I can only put a, put the 18 underneath it. Yeah. So uh, once we made that change, the race car changed tremendously. We had to make different chassis adjustments. We had to do something because the tire was so uh, the, the tire was so much more square. Yes. Which we wasn't used to square. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, when it stays yes. round, the old car runs better. You, you went through when that learning curve. When it curve. starts going yes. that little crunkling thing, you don't like it very much. But, you know, we made that change over to the 18 inch wheel, uh, double bead lock. Absolutely. If you ain't running them, 18s, 20s, no matter if it's 16s, no matter if it's another another wheel. If you're racing, you need to be running a race star wheel. Yes. And huge difference in what happened. Well, we, in these high horsepower cars like you run in, in that Pro Mod, you're pushing uh, close to 4,000 horsepower. Uh, did the car settle down? The car settled down quite a bit. Um, okay. And mainly, you know, with us, we're a nitrous car. So yes. the difference between a nitrous car and a, uh, a blower car or a, or a, a you know, a pro charger, a screw, uh, yes. a, a turbo, all that, a nitrous car really has to get after it down low. Yes. We got to get after it quick. Yes. So our our uh, zero to sixty, we have to gain. We basically one into the run. Yes. One point one into the run. Yes. We've got to make all the difference in the world. Yes. Well, the sixteen inch tire wasn't allowing us to to. It was spinning, but it wasn't wasn't biting like yes. it needed to. Yes. So that extra little bit that hits the ground going and to the inches. eighteen, two yep. inches getting the ground really makes a difference up. So. So now I got a little bit more traction, so I can yes. give something really good. And I can tell you, we probably have the fastest 60 foot car ever been recorded in nitrous. We went 906. Okay. 906, .906 in a nitrous car, 60 foot. That's on a race star wheel, guys. That is on That's a race star wheel. That's on a race star wheel. Well, uh, and I got to say who's retired because they're yes. a great sponsor of us. Yes. How about, <laughs> uh, uh, how about your mile per hour? Did you see any difference in the mile per hour um, car? What I see more, mile an hour really doesn't, you know, because cars are already going. Yes. So it's not the mile an hour that I'm seeing the difference in. It's the way the car drives. So when, you, when you're when you on a 16-inch tire, you got to remember, it's only 16 inches wide. Yes, that's correct. So you move to an 18-inch wide tire. That puts more tread to the ground. 
which as you're at 206 mile an hour, the car doesn't want to move all over the place. Yes. The car yes. starts sticking a little bit. Now at 20 inch tire, it would really be, a, be yes. driving like a Cadillac on the top yes. end. Yes. Uh, wasn't so much, like I say, not so much in speed, yeah. but more so how the car okay. performed itself okay. after you get to mid track. But you, still A to B then, your ET time was much better with that 16 Fastest ET, uh, uh, I recorded the fastest ET ever in the history of uh, Midwest Drag Racing Series. Really? Um, the history of my racing. We went 361.7 at 206 mile an hour. Um, Wonderful. Uh, which is the fastest nitrous car in the Midwest. That's cool. Uh, That's cool. And, you know, with a patent using motor. Yeah. So you got Pat, you yes. know. You got a uh, tie drive with the transmission. I mean, I don't mind telling everybody what we're running. You know, you got you, the best of the best. And I have the best tuner. Yeah. And the best crew. You got the best of the best. You know, it, 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 I I said one thing. You change a tire, or you change the wheel. You change the preparation of your race team before you go to the race. Racers are not one at the racetrack. Yes. Racers are run at the shop. Yeah. So what happens at the shop? Making that decision to change to a race star rear wheel, 18 inch, yes. bad boy, and going around and doing what we're doing now. You know, the preparation we want to, I, I haven't told you, I mean, you, you know. Yes. Uh, we're obviously, look. if you look behind yes. us, there's a big uh, picture of me and my daughter, which is wonderful because I appreciate, you know, we got race star, we got the nine inch race star wheel uh, on the back yes. of the, uh, of the junior. junior and on yes. the front <laughs> we got yes. the race star wheels well, on the front well and we got a new car coming for her yes. too well uh, in all on all this talk that you you've been talking now the past few years what you haven't told us the big news is that you are the midwest drag racing series champion for 2023 we, uh, for 2023 and and yes. you know what thank you thank you because the race star thank wheels you. because I, I i believe you know our pat music motors our brandon schweitzer tuning yes the 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 transmission the tire the rear the yes. rear wheel um we won a 2003 20, 2023 midwest drag racing series championship and you know i have been trying i haven't won one since 2018 i believe it was this is the last one i won and it was never against the competition that it is today yeah. today the competition is totally different you know, you got, I, there's not many series can say that I won against every single combo. A nitrous car yeah. wins against every blower single car, car, a blower yeah. car, screw car, yeah. turbo car, pro charger. Uh, you name a combo, we kick their butts. And I've seen those guys are racing the Midwest Drag Racing Series. They're good. They're really good. They're and, good. And just so you know, I, uh, it was a it was a tough fought championship all the way down to the very last race. Yeah. And in second round of the last race, we won, and the guy that was actually leading lost. <laughs> we went. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We went into the race because we won Tulsa. We went into the race you leading in the, the race points yeah. by five points five points and then so he went around i went around i went number one or number three quali two qualifier he went number three qualifier yes. so the points all stayed right there together i think when we started the race i was seven points ahead by qualifying points yes. and then he wins first round i went first round i'm yes. like so the stress is big so we just poured some more power against those uh race star wheels and we went out and won second round and won a championship well you know uh I love talking to you because your passion for what you do comes through so clearly. And uh, uh, as you said, uh, you won the race at home in the shop getting that car ready. You know, the old business saying that proper planning prevents poor performance. That's correct. Is, is so true in racing. Uh, it's just as much work at home working on that car as it, 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 it is racing on the track against your competitors. It, it is, you know, and, and the crew from Dale Hancock, Shane, uh, Shane Goodnight, little Bobby yeah. Saavedra, Steve, Steve Cooks, yeah. Brandon Schweitzer, my wife, the kid. You know what? We spend, we spend a lot of time in the shop. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of preventive maintenance stuff that most teams wouldn't do. Yes. They take that chance and chances sometimes Cost you, money. cost you races. races Chances money. sometimes yeah. will cost you more money than yes. just doing the maintenance. Yes. Yeah. You know, we were lucky enough to never hurt a motor. 
Um, when we went 361. That's luck. That's luck in a pro mod, right no, there. No, no, we went no. 361 and we had to work on it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we had to did. work on it before the final round. But, yes. you know, we did it. That was the first time that we've done it. And we got some new exciting news coming out for next year. We're not gonna release it here. Fantastic. But but we'll be we'll be running that race star wheel again next year and trying to slap around all them other guys you know that's that's what it's all about very good guys well I appreciate you coming and seeing us today and uh, sharing your story with everyone out there and uh, thank you my friend thank you thank, thank you. you hey you got it. if you ain't running a race star wheel you're wasting your time racing.